Yeah, plus, uh, sooner's better. The longer you wait, the more dangerous things get in these kinds of situations. All right. Well, she's running off. At least she's waiting for me. <laughs> Don't walk into that. No. Oh, there's people. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Hot dish night? Well, I don't know how much help I can be with my hurt leg, but uh, I can try. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. The lip syncing went a little bit off there for a moment. That was weird. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna I'm not gonna you. eat you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? How could you, you not could have seen them? That. They're everywhere. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Well, I guess I'm her babysitter now, but... some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for She's two She's not alone mistake. anymore. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Probably should have said babysitter. I think these guys don't trust me anymore. Okay. Um... Okay, so this is the rundown car that's in the way of their car. Okay. Like, how are we clearing the way right now? Oh boy. They're coming fast. Get it. <laughs> Get it. For just some guy? It seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. So. Oh, look at that moon. So pretty. It's all right. We're safe for the moment. John, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, Your man. Your mama's I'll probably you dead. Night. It was nice to meet you both. See you again. Or not. Because you're probably gonna be dead, too. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Um... Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Clementine's a smart one. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Well, 
Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Um, it's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Oh, and this question. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Home. Oh, shoot. That's Where's not what home? I meant to do. I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? I was trying to scroll down to the girl? bottom by going out. Oh, well. Oh, who was I with? No uh... Is that it... so? Yes. Oh, my God. It is. You said we. That's all. Oh, shoot. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't paying attention. Name, I didn't Donna. know if he said who I hit or who I was with. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone... Don't say that word there. in front of Clementine. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Your son's um, right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Um... Teenage girl with her gut spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. Well, do yeah, what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. <laughs> he doesn't even seem mildly faced. We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Clementine's okay. facial expressions are the best. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. You said we. Well, you know what? I refer to myself in the plural all the time. So don't... It don't think like... you caught something. Poop. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I'm not sure exactly where these guys are right now. I mean, some place near Macon, but I'm not sure where Macon is either. I love you, baby. Hey, dreams. get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, that. huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Oh, we boy, better get he's going. Excited. We won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. <laughs> See? Yeah, yeah, I guess I could figure. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Couple of deadheads. Um, I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, 
Gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. She that seems is a, a bit very shy. pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Yeah, we well, know you want to build a fence. Me. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Oh, she seems all right with that. Okay. Okay, game. Don't do that, please. We can't. You have all such right. pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Oh, okay. So now I can go talk to them. Yeah, yeah, yes. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. When did she introduce herself? Did she? Was I just not paying attention? Hey there, girl. Does he just randomly know her name? <sighs> so, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need okay. to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to so they're in Georgia. It can't stay like this. Isn't Savannah in Georgia as well? Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Um... This could all be... Providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism <laughs> That ends up not being what I would have wanted to say. Mm. These past couple days, at least. Oh, well, she seemed happy about it anyway. <laughs> you two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Alright, so three days. I was just gonna ask, because I feel like... I mean... Cause it, nothing seemed to be wrong while Lee was in the... I mean, things seemed to be starting to go crazy while Lee was in the car. But it seemed like things advanced really fast, and you would think he would have, like, known about it? I guess it... Something feels a bit weird. Hey Hello. there, uh, Kenny. Um... Need any help? No, I think I got it. Cool. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Sure. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. 
I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Somehow I don't think the government's going to be handing out shots. <laughs> but whatever, alright. Here's where the fun is happening. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Oh! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Well, uh... I guess I got both the good and the bad right there. Sean's still working on that fence. Yes, he is. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. All right. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy well, in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. Jeez. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Yep. Oh. Uh. Faster. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? Well, How's your family? Be... Uh... Well, not too close with my family. Oh. Didn't seem like you. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I guess his family's in making So probably not. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Sure. Pretty sure he's not going to be happy with me. <laughs> hey, Lee. Hello. Still need a hand? Okay, game stop. I'm good. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn? Oh, best to be thorough. Hello, dude. Hi. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! He's not even lifting anything, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's go help the dude in the barn. Oh! We're already over here. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hey there. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty. Last I was night. trying to be honest, but the scroll wheel wasn't but doing sure, what I wanted I it to. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Uh... Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. 
Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice.